Hey YouTube, Guy Webbs here, back with a review on the Mafex Miles Morales figure from the Gwenpool comic, the Gorohiri art. I just got this figure in the mail today, and also something that I just got on for my birthday. So, this is a really nice figure, I've been posing it around and having fun a lot. My birthday gift after all. So, let's... Take a look at the packaging. We'll lean into the side for a moment. Basic Mayfix packaging. Picture of the figure right here. Spider-Man. Mayfix. This is number 92. Medicom. There's the window. Some of the accessories. Spider-Man. Warnings and shit at the bottom. Side. Other side. There he is unmasked. The back. You get a couple of pictures of the figure in different poses along with some of the accessories. So without further ado, I'll take a look at the accessories real quick. So outside of the usual Mafex stand, in terms of accessories, it comes with some interchangeable hands right here. Outside of the package, it comes with these open resting type hands. Then it comes with the flipping hands like this. And these uh, different hands for, I assume, holding the mask. These open wall crawling hands, the fist hands, the web grabbing hands, another pair of mm, wall crawling hands but these ones along with these feet right here have magnets. Then he comes with a second interchangeable mast head. This one right here has the eyes wide open, this one has the eyes slightly squinted. He comes with an unmasked head and to go along with the unmasked head he comes with the removed mask accessory. Then it comes with different web effects. The long one right here for swinging. These longer ones and these short ones for flipping. To swap to the other head, and all you have to do is just pull up to take it off. It's on a angle double ball peg right here, and I'll get to that in a moment in the articulation. And just put this one on like so. Get a nice pop. There he is with the other masked head with the squinted eyes. To swap to the unmasked head though is a little bit tricky. You have to pop off his entire neck assembly. It's kind of hard to do. I feel like I'm going to break it every single time. Even though this figure is durable, it's not going to break. So there I have it off. Here's the unmasked head. Push this on like so. And here's how he looks like with the unmasked head. Really nicely detailed. Well, not really that much. It's very simplistic. It has a very anime style to it. Very grumpy Miles Morales, I might add. <laughs> but it does look accurate to the Gwenpool comic he was based on. By the way, is it just me or when I think of Miles Morales, I always hear Donald Glover's voice. Donald Glover can play Spider-Man. He's nerdy. <laughs> And the mast accessory does fit into these types of hands right here. It's a little bit tricky to get him to hold. Might have to shimmy it in. Yeah, that's really the best I can get him to hold it. To use any of the web effects, just line up the uh, web effects, this ring part right here, right by the wrist joint, and put the hand back on. Push it on all the way, and you get something that looks like this. So now you have the web flipping effect coming out. And the long web effect right here, which by the way, all the web effects have really nice sculpting on it. It fits into these kinds of web holding hands. It's a little bit tricky to get him to hold these. The plastic is a little bit stiff, and you have to kind of pry the fingers away a little bit. Come on. There we go. Here's a look at the magnetic pairs of hands right here. Pretty much the same thing as the default wall crawling hands, just with magnets on them. And then he comes with a pair of these magnetic feet right here. Has two magnets at the bottom. And the way you interchange to the magnetic feet, you just simply pop this off and then push the magnetic feet on just like so and if you have any kind of magnetic surface or fridge you can have miles and crawling up just like this 
magnets are very strong as you can see right here and finally he comes with this really long web line right here got this loop on the top right here which you can hang off something if you really want to it's really long here and this does fit into the web grabbing hand and has this little triangular shape hole right here for his foot so you can replicate this kind of pose right here on this packaging side which I think is a really nice feature alrighty so let's take a closer detail look at Miles Morales right here take a look at the head sculpt we have the big eyes default head right here looks really nice the big triangular eyes and all the red for the sculpted in cobwebbing is really nice stands out against the black really nice spider symbol nice and big and the red v-shape accent over here I always thought that was a cool design for Miles' suit I do like the Into the Spider-Verse Miles suit as well I love them both I can't pick which one do you guys like more, by the way? You like this one more, or you like the Into the Spider-Verse one more? I like both. And yes, I will be getting the Into the Spider-Verse Miles figures too, but probably wait for the Sentinel one. But anyways, we got the big spider symbol on the back here. Looks really nice, very angular. Not really much to speak of for his costume design. It's mainly just black. It's a nice matte black, by the way. The red stands out really well. The red for the fingers with some cobwebbing pattern. Nothing much at the bottom. It's back. And he's really buff, but this is accurate to the uh, Guru Hiri art style from the Gwenpool comic, which is also why he has the smaller head and the broad shoulders. And he is really tall as well, which some people may or may not like. I don't mind it seeing how this is based off the source material it's supposed to be, but I can see why it might bother some people. Just preference. For the articulation, Miles' head is on a double ball joint, an angled double ball joint actually. So you can look left and right, tilt side to side, and because the ball peg is angled, you can look all the way up combined with the neck joint, which is really good. So you can do lots of acrobatic like poses. You can look down, you can tilt from side to side. The neck is on a ball joint, moves all the way around as you want. Double ball joint for the torso, so it rotates, crunches forward this much on its own back. A little bit of gapping, but not that bad. Pivot side to side, a lot of pivot. Ball joint at the waist, rotates, moves forward and back, side to side crotch is a rubbery piece he has a armpit joint kind of this is just a separate piece that fills in the joint it comes forward all the way you can rotate around 360 be careful this side I do have a little bit of a paint rub it was kind of paint stuck and then when I tried to move it, it caused some paint rub right there darn 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 he darn so just be careful of that. But anyways, he does have an armpit joint. The arms rotate all the way around and go out to the side. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Wrist rotates and hinges in and out or up and down depending on the direction of the peg. Hips drop down, kicks forward this much. Like I said, the crotch is a rubbery piece so it won't hinder the articulation. Kicks back out to the side this much. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankle, so they rotate and go down all the way, up all the way. He does have really good ankle pivot and toe articulation, so really good articulation, pretty much on par with the Mayfix uh, comic book version Peter Parker Spider Man. And you're going to be able to get him into lots of different Spider Man like poses. Overall, I do highly recommend the Mayfex Miles Morales to any and all Spider-Man fans. If you're a fan of Spider-Man, if you're a fan of Miles Morales, if you're a fan of his version of Spider-Man, or if you're building a Spider-Verse display, you definitely want Miles Morales here in your collection. I think he's a great figure and you will not be disappointed to have it in your collection. Even if you may or may not be a fan of the art style, you may or may not be a fan of the Gwenpool series, 
this is still a great figure and I still highly recommend it. You get a ton of great accessories, the articulation and sculpt is really nice. The sculpt and the general aesthetic and due to the source material and the art style in Gwenpool may be off-putting to some and the height and the bulk of the figure but I, to me I'm perfectly fine with it. It doesn't detract from the figure at all. I still really like this figure a lot despite it not being the ideal Miles Morales I imagine. I still really love this figure. In the way of price and availability, Mayfix Miles Morales right here is around 80 to 90 or a hundred dollars depending on where you purchase it. It is quite expensive but Overall, I feel you're getting your money's worth seeing how this figure has no QC issues. One of the best Mayfix figure releases, so I highly recommend it. You will not be disappointed to have it in your collection. With that said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my review. If you want to support the channel, click subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Guy Web signing out. Bye! Spectacular, spectacular.